Cherry MX Browns aren't tactile enough. Gaming company Garus decided to take a page directly from the enthusiast keyboard scene with their glorious pandas. Does using a typing focus switch make sense for gaming and will it compromise in typing sound and feel coming from a gaming company? Before I do get into the Glorious Pandas, I do want to mention some of the controversy about the switches, the marketing of the tooling, or molds of the Glorious Pandas. Keyboard enthusiasts wanted to know if it's the original tooling for the original Inver Holy Pandas that can't easily be traced. While this doesn't entirely matter to me as long as the quality is there, Glorious has been known to take ideas or existing products and change them just enough to say it's different while feeling a little too close to home. Feel free to dive into that if that matters to you, but I won't go into that myself. What are you getting with the Glorious Pandas? It's marketed as having premium and high quality materials, but effectively it's a polycarbonate top housing with nylon PA66 bottom housing and a palm stem. The spring weight is listed as 67 grams, made of nickel-plated stainless steel. They come in a bag of 36 per order, with a color scheme that reminds me of Sunnyside eggs. What I like about the Glorious Pandas is that they are 3-pin, fitting on any board without having to clip the extra legs if it was a 5-pin. I have put the Glorious Pandas into more enthusiast-grade polycarbonate keyboards and of course the JMMK Pro. Here's how they sound unlubed. I don't hate the sound, but it feels a little too hollow and scratchy for my liking. As you've heard, there is some noticeable spring ping, it was actually worse. There's a trick to reducing the spring ping if you don't want to take apart and lube the switches. Move the worst offenders to the keys that aren't mostly used. The arrow keys and keys like pipe or a bracket. This works with any switch, assuming you have enough that aren't pingy. How do glorious pandas feel despite being unlubed? They are very tactile with a large noticeable rounded bump with an almost imperceptible pre-travel, but a small but noticeable post-travel, similar to that feeling of going too fast over a fresh new speed bump. It isn't harsh, but it's not the most pleasant yet fun if you're expecting it. Going past the bump takes a considerable amount of effort, making it very engaging switch. There is a noticeable amount of scratchiness, but it isn't much compared to the tactile bump. This definitely isn't the switch for those looking for a clean, unobtrusive typing experience. What difference is having the Glorious Pandas lubed? Looping makes a large difference in the sound of the switches, and I like them better. Sounds cleaner and solid. It's an engaging switch, practically begging for attention. I also loop the legs of the switch. Most keyboard enthusiasts say don't do this, but because the glorious pandas are terribly tactile, it isn't as affected. While it removes the scratchiness, noticeably running out the tactile bump further, there is less friction going past the tactile bump, making the bottom out feel harsher. But also because of that, the switch feels more responsive or returns quicker, bringing me to the gaming experience. Contrary to popular belief, having these switches on the heavier side is beneficial for gaming. Of course, the cutoff for too heavy is personal choice. Lighter switches have two side effects that go against gaming. One is that they don't return to the reset point as fast as heavier switches, making them feel slow or ineffective if you tap too quickly, for jiggle strafing or in beat games. Two is that they make it easier for misclicks just from brushing the adjacent switches. While it doesn't happen constantly, it's enough to be noticeable, making the Glorious Pandas a slightly better choice in gaming. Because of its highly tactile nature, it can also call to attention every button press, making you aware if you have or haven't pressed anything. You might not think it's not that useful, but if you're practicing specific movements or button combination, it makes it easier to identify when you're going wrong. This also goes for general typing if you are in the office. Again, the Glorious Pandas are highly tactile, and you cannot and will not fail to notice the tactile bump lubed or unlubed. They are also loud, and I wouldn't really recommend them unless you have your own office, where the loud and furious typing sounds can deter people from bothering you. You would also think that you can't get any more tactile with a switch, but it exists and is in this video, which have a sharper tactile bump than the Glorious Pandas. Subscribe for more content on tech and their ability in both gaming and productivity. I'm your host Naka, have a nice one. Okay, I've had these switches for a while and I didn't think there would be a more tactile switch until the Bad Sea Tactiles appeared on the scene.